Good evening and a very warm welcome to you on this Friday the 18th of December for our Advent Reflection tonight. And tonight we've got Reverend Ian Taylor leading it. So thank you, Ian. Greetings, everyone. Today's reading is from St. Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 to 24. Now the birth of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, took place in this way, when his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took Mary as his wife. Thanks be to God. Notice Matthew tells this section of the story of Jesus's birth from Joseph's point of view. We are told that Joseph was a righteous man. That means a decent, God-fearing Hebrew a man of piety and honour, and as such, he was going to treat his unfortunately pregnant bride-to-be with decent consideration. There would be a quiet divorce, no fuss, no publicity, what we today would call a quickie. Then, just as he got his plan sorted in his mind, an angel appeared to him in a dream bringing the most unbelievable message, saying that although she was pregnant, Mary had not been unfaithful to him, and she was still a virgin. Her child was God's in a very unique way, because the Holy Spirit had made her pregnant. Joseph was then reminded that this was exactly what God had predicted would happen when the Christ was to be born. Joseph's reaction was heroic. He obeyed the angel and married Mary. But doubtless he heard many sniggers behind his back from those who assumed that he had had pre-marital sex with Mary. For Joseph, this meant a great change in his expectation and thinking. It meant abandoning his hopes and visions of what a conventional son could be to him, support in old age, the continuation of the family business, the delight of grandchildren. But he married Mary and became Jesus, his legal father. He protected mother and child through all the hazards that lay ahead and taught Jesus his own trade of carpentry. However, he seems to have died before Jesus launched out on his own public ministry. One of the watchwords of Advent is change. Times are changing. New things are happening. We are called to see God's hand and his power in these changes. But how do we face up to the changes and uncertainties in our lives. Truth to tell, none of us really like change. We don't like being taken out of our own comfort zone. We like things to stay exactly as they were. 
but it's only through change, which means growth, that we can develop into the people God really wants us to be. In the words of Cardinal Newman, to change means to grow. To change often means to grow much. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ian, for your words. And our music tonight is Long Ago Prophets New. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's been lovely. And thank you, Ian, for your words. Please do join us if you can for Night Prayer at 6. Otherwise, do join us again for our Advent Reflection on Monday at 5.30. Goodbye for now. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>